from the man who brought you E.T. and the BFG. It's Brutal Executions, the movie. Welcome to The Daily Needs, a daily look at classic films, modern cinema, and the world of professional wrestling. And today we're talking about the big one. This is a Schindler's List. Um, now going into this, I've kind of known this movie as more or less a punchline. This came out while I was still a child, so clearly didn't see it then. And as I was growing up, like, I think there was like a Seinfeld episode that there's like a joke about making out during Schindler's List. And I know it is like this soul-crushing Holocaust movie that people see once and never see again, but like it, but not like it, but like are affected by it. And so I've kind of like avoided it because I, I feel like, oh, I don't need to see soul-crushing sadness for three and a half hours. Um, so I was nervous going into this today. I was like, jeez, I gotta, just gotta watch this. <sighs> But, what I've neglected, or what, what people have neglected to tell me is that Liam Neeson is the most charming individual on the planet. He makes this movie entertaining from minute one, and yes, it gets to some dark places, and yes, it gets real. But he is so phenomenal in keeping the audience engaged in this movie that, like, I didn't even realize... He had a career before Taken. That sounds terrible. I know I did. I knew because he was in the, the the Star Wars prequels, so I knew the name. But like I didn't realize like, what he had done before. And wow, he's really good. Um, like the this film is an emotional film, but it wasn't for me until towards the end. Like, there are moments, yes, with the, the girl in the red coat, when she makes her return, I was like, oof, that's rough. But it didn't hit me until the end when he's leaving um, his Jews. And he's saying, like, with this car, I could have I could have gotten ten more people out. This pin, this is one person. And that speech he gives at the end, like, just hit me like a, a kick in the crotch. I just wanted to like curl up in a ball and sob for a while, but Cody would have judged me if I did, so I held it together like the big strong man that I am. It wouldn't be the first time you've curled into a ball and sobbed after these movies. Uh, Decalogue, one and five. Inside out. Shut up, you cried too. <laughs> you cried before I did. No, I looked at you and you were crying, so it was okay to cry, it's fine. Um, she did not notice the tears I shed tonight though. No, um, I did. It's fine. Powerful, just powerful, powerful movie. And the end, breaking, kicking the fourth wall in the face, um, just having the actual people accompanied by their actors putting, putting stones on Schindler's actual grave, and then Liam Neeson laying the flowers down. Like, just incredible, incredible emotional experience. Didn't feel like the three and a half hours that it was and until I had to change discs because DVDs can't hold the whole epic of Schindler's List. Um, I love the, the choices with uh, black and white and the rare moments of color. Um, I really appreciated those. Um, told a story without telling a story, you know, and didn't have somebody saying like, oh, now I feel this, but it's just showing the color of the coat. And you immediately know what Schindler's thinking both times you see her. Um, and the color in the candles, it's like, okay, nobody's saying, like, there's hope now. But you can feel that there's hope now. And it's great, great storytelling, great filmmaking. Um, a lot of the great movies that I've been going through this book and seeing are great based on a scene or two. Like, On the Waterfront was fine, but that contender scene is fantastic. And then... Uh, like, insert other example here of movie ba like Nosferatu, or or um, Battleship Potemkin. Like, I don't like them as movies, but they have really incredible scenes. This movie's not like that. From start to finish, it is like pristine filmmaking, brilliant storytelling, fantastic acting. It deserves all the awards it won. I completely understand why it won them. Um, just overall, just an incredible, incredible movie to watch. Um, it's one of those movies like uh, Lion, 
where it's like I can feel that I'm I've changed as a person watching it. And I don't say that lightly, I don't say that for everything, but I feel it with this one. Just great filmmaking, Spielberg at his best, um, less whimsy than, than some of his other stuff, but just fantastic filmmaking. I think that's all I, I want to say about Schindler's List. I could say more, but I won't. Luna, what are you doing? Luna just caught a bug. She's so good. Um, whew. Tomorrow, I'm going to watch something. I haven't decided yet. I'll flip through the library and see what piques my interest. But until then, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below about whatever. And uh, follow me on Twitter at Daily Neats. And until tomorrow, bye.